in this episode tonight. Coming up, it's more chat about football. Ho oh, ho! Well, hello there. Oh, God. We're back in the shed. We're back in the shed, Chuck, yes, because the weather doesn't look very nice it's out there It's inclement, today. isn't it? It inclement. is. Inclement. Yes. So uh, we don't want to sit in the stand and uh, we've used gaffer tape and stuff. So there you go. Anyway, this is Corby Town TV. We are Chuck and Michael. There you go. And uh, like, subscribe and uh, hit the notification button. If you haven't, we don't think everybody that watches this has subscribed. So hit the button. That button. Yeah. It counts for a lot. Anyway, we're joyous, aren't we? We're on, we're on a high, aren't we? High. We're on a high, yep, yep. Corby Town, three games in. Perfect start. Three wins. Three wins, no goals conceded. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. And um, top of the league after three games. Now, obviously, we don't want to count our chickens before they hatch. Yeah, I don't think it means a lot. Um, But, uh, obviously, there were no other games in the league at the weekend. And, therefore, the uh, three points that we are top of the league with... um, means that other teams will catch up around us as we go into the season. But we've got another game this week, haven't we? we yes. We are away at Grantham, the yep. Gingerbreads, yep. in the, in the uh, local estate of Keveston. That's where it is. Um, uh, in Grantham. And, um, yeah, that, that could change things. But, uh, you yeah, know, they did quite well at the weekend. They were in the FA Cup and won. Did they? I think so, yeah. That's uh, how I looked at it. Um, so that's what's happening there. But we need to look back because in this, uh, you've already put out the game. Yeah, the it's, game's it's gone there. Out, yeah, yeah. It's there on the socials already. And I've put out the two goals and clipped them and put them out on TikTok. If you're not covering Corby Town on TikTok, what are you doing with your life? Um, but that's rattled up a couple of hundred views already. So that's quite fun. Uh, but in this package, we've got um, a discussion with a couple of players. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that we'd like to do this season is get more of the players in um, and have a chat with them, either after the game or whenever we can grab them, really. So uh, who the- did we get this week? Well, this week it was the man of the match from the uh, Racing Club Warwick game. So that was Danny Gordon. And he was our, joined by... Our top scorer. Uh, Fletcher Toll. So, uh, yeah, we welcomed into Corby Town. You'll see it in a moment. It's in this package. Also, after the game, I went into the bar, the uh, steel bar. Nothing unusual there? No, no. And uh, I I had a quick word with a goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper, our new goalkeeper. So you advertise in a coffee brand. No, I need a drink. All right. Um, Our new keeper, of course, who is... Ross Durant. It is Ross Durant. And uh, I didn't realise, uh, unless you stood next to him, you wouldn't appreciate that. He's actually taller than me. He's about six foot two. He's quite a big lad. Oh. So, um, yeah, I spoke to him. He's happy. So I think he's probably one of the other people that will get involved here. Because um, uh, he did say, he did say, and this is weird. He says, I have watched you on YouTube. And I thought, oh, that's weird. That is. Oh, weird. And then I also spoke to... Um, uh, Macaulay as well, Captain Macaulay. Oh, yeah. And he says, yeah, I've seen you on the YouTube channel and your beard is tidy, unlike mine. So I'm hanging out with the players, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, uh, but yes, yeah, so that, that's come later in this package. But uh, go and have a look at the, the um, highlights of the game. The Corby Town versus uh, Racing Club Warwick are out there on the socials already. And um, yeah, it's good to watch. It's always good to watch, especially when we win. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I don't think there'll be any coverage from tomorrow's game. You're not going, are you? No, no, no. Um, yeah. My missus is driving me down to jump me in a field somewhere. It's, a, it's not a bad thing to do, um, being in a field. Music um, festival. Indeed. She um, can't stand it, so she's driving all the way home again. Oh, gosh. Um, so I don't know if they'll be filming anything or there's anything that will I'm be not sure. maybe online. I'm um, not sure whether Grantham do their own uh, package. And uh, I won't be there because I'll be on the radio tomorrow night. So anybody listening to Corby Radio would have heard uh, uh, up-to-date score lines coming in as it happens. It's going out on the Thursday, of course. But we are at home again on Saturday. 
Yeah. Big game here versus the Mikes. Yeah. You like that band, don't you? You like the, the, the Mikes. Mikes, yeah. I the, miss the Mikes. The, the Bold Mayor boys. And um, I, I think we did not double over them last year. Did we? Yeah, I think we played them first game of the season and won there. And then they came in. Oh, no, we won there. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. um, so yeah, that, that, that's what was going on here at the weekend. So when this goes out on Thursday night, then you'll be watching it. Hopefully, you're casting it to your big telly in the big room. Um, that uh, you, you know, you'll be thinking well, that's the big game coming up at the weekend, Corbin versus Boldmere. Um, yeah, I think what else more, more there is to say about that, really. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. I mean, um... other than the fact that straight after that game, we're going to win another game on the Bank Holiday Monday, which is away at Wellingborough. The Doughboys. Dog and Duck. Yeah, um, Dog and Duck. Uh, which kind of means something different now. Than what it used to, I suppose. It used to mean a dog and a duck kind of game, kind of uh, shooting and kind of thing. Now, uh, it's just a pub. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's what's happening there. Is it? Yeah. But it's a three o'clock kickoff, isn't it? I believe it's still a three o'clock kickoff unless something's changed. Um, again, like Chuck says, always check the socials. Um, you never know I, with I, these types of events. They can alter from time to time. I but... believe this was the only game that's being played on the bank holiday. It's kicking off at three o'clock for Corby Town fixtures this season. All of the other fixtures are early, either midday or one o'clock. So there. Mm. Uh, but check the socials. Check your check your fixtures list. Buy a program. Have a look in there. Uh, all up to date in there, so you can be aware and fully up to date with everything that's happening at Steel Park. Um, Ladies' fixtures are not happening yet, are they? No, they played a friendly from recently. Yeah. Um, not sure when their season starts. Um, it can't be far. No. Nope. It can't be far. And as soon as we have some fixtures that are concrete, then we'll share them with you. That's the um, same with the uh, uh, the under 18s. They start their season tonight. Do they? Yep. They they're at home nice. here to Desborough, a new team within the league, as far as I'm a, I'm aware. Um, yeah, so not sure of what we'll get with that one. I know they're trying to open the bar in that, aren't they? The, the bar will be open tonight. I've just seen Chris York. He's uh, out front of the bar. Uh, things are sorted. The big problem, just to let you know, because there was a lot of discussion about this, as you can see, that on the game, the first league home game of the season on that Wednesday night, mm -hmm. there was lots of people queuing. There was lots of issues and people saying it was this, that and the other. What had actually happened was... The, the, the pressure on the CO2, which goes through all the drinks, had been knocked down. And that meant that everything was slow. It wasn't particularly fizzy enough. And when it was checked, somebody said, oh, your, your pressure's wrong on your CO2. Everything was sorted. And, Friday, and Saturday afternoon, when we were here at Steel Park, everything was perfect and lovely. They even had some nice ale in bottles, golden ale. It was a, a speckled golden hen, in fact. Yeah, right. I do believe there was a disgruntled com customer that uh, made a big point uh, prior to matches yeah. about not having real ale. Yeah. And he had a confrontation with a certain <laughs> chairman. Oh. And lo and behold, there's real ale. Yeah, there's real ale. And uh, so, <laughs> there's, I mean, people, it's, you know, it depends, it's, there's real ale and there's ale, there's ale and there's ale. And it depends on how you want to measure your ale. I measure it in colour. I like a light golden ale. Once it starts getting uh, more chestnut, amber, dark, it's it's just it doesn't work for me. So mm. there, that's mm. how we're that's how we're looking at ale. But obviously, ale is less impurities, doesn't have nitrogen running through it, and therefore is better for you. I don't think any alcohol is better for you, but there you go. Ah, <laughs> well, there you go. Um, what else is happening? So yeah, there's loads of bands coming on. Um, and they've set up a website for the Steel Bar as well, just so you know. It's called the Steel Bar. Go on there and the venue, and um, you can see which bands are playing and when. And uh, there looks like some really good bands are turning up soon. There is, yes, yes. And I've asked uh, um, a couple of times for Chris York to um, have a list of the bands, and we can advertise them on the podcast and various things. That information hasn't come through yet. Um, but hopefully it will come through well, yeah, because, you know, with me and... Chuck here and what we do, 
we're getting close to some weeks 1500 views on mm. what we do plus on top of that all the other social media things that we put out there so yeah i mean we think personally um this information should be put across to us sooner rather than later because there's an outlet there that isn't being tapped into yeah well we'll have to work on that maybe we'll have to do a separate package and, and i'll pretend that i'm fluff freeman and go in at number one it's the top of the list and do that kind of nonsense really yeah maybe <laughs> don't know um but yes we'll bring you an up-to-date list i do have some list but it wasn't complete when i sent it out the other day, but I can easily uh, generate that differently on my PC and then send you a screenshot. Mm. 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 Uh, and then maybe, yeah, because it even comes down to the fact that come the PA, I, I could play some of the band's music as they're coming up to play here, which would be great to hear Spear of Destiny and, and Skids. Dolly Parton. Is Dolly Parton playing? No. Oh, good. <laughs> um, other bands that won't get played here at Steel Park, and I had to make this, uh, make this aware. Um, there will be no um, uh, Britney Spears. There'll be no Justin Bieber. There'll be no Ed Sheeran. Now, here's one for you. Just because he's an Ipswich fan. And there'll be none of that Taylor Swift. She's not coming on the PA at Steel Park. L3 Cub, 30 odd years ago, maybe even 40 years ago, put together by uh, Warzone UK and Andy Mr. Warzone. Andy yeah. Copeland, Andy Warzone, um, sadly lost him. He was a real big music person within the Corby area, uh, put on a band called Rathchild, um, Confetti Cannons and all that, 40th anniversary of the Stack Attack, and they're going to be playing in there. Uh, very so. Are you call them what they're called again? Rathchild. Rathchild. R well, Rathchild. Rathchild. <laughs> um, and, and I'm sure they haven't got their spiky hair anymore. No, I'm sure. So on that night, you'll you'll probably be there uh, down front dancing, and I'll be at the back dancing. I probably won't be there. To uh, be you should be. You should be. Um, but yeah, there's lots of bands coming up, and we'll get some details out there. But uh, they are on the, the Steel Bar socials. Either have a look at their website, have a look at their Twitter account, or not Twitter account, Instagram account. Um, but yeah, so have we got much more to say, or should we? Come yes, to? no. My favourite player of the season so far. A bit early for that, isn't it? Who is it? So far, go on then. O'Brien. Oh, yeah. He scored. Um, he set two up. He scored two. And uh, didn't play at the weekend because he has got a bit of a soft ankle. He has, yeah, um, yeah. But um, I think they're resting him because I think they're going to need him tomorrow afternoon, uh, tomorrow evening, versus Grantham. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the only thing we can talk about. The one or two knocks here and there. I think he risked Ruben at the weekend, and he had to come off, didn't he? And yeah. he, di he didn't want to risk Jordan. So, hopefully, that won't have too much of a. But he's been very good so far. It, um, he's been excellent. Mm. Uh, what your um, because the the video is already out there, as we said from the uh, Wrestle Club Warwick game. But what you don't appreciate from your video in the streaming of the game that I because I was standing right, I was back behind him when he when he uh, mazed into um into the into the eighteen yard box, but he struck the ball on such a curve. It was completely round the keeper and into the back of the net. It was because it looks like because you're you're the other angle on. It looks like a straight ball, but no, he put a lovely curve on. Oh, Ruben, yeah, oh yeah, he's in, he, he he's doing all right. I mean, Fletcher Choll as well. He's been excellent. Um, well, he's Ro got stiff for it, isn't he? He's Rory got, has been, yeah. you know. There was a, ah, now here's one. Okay, we'll go back. We're just gonna go back to this. There was a big hoo-ha made on Saturday when um, Rory went up for a challenge and they were claiming where I was, it had led with his elbow. No. Do you remember that challenge? No. Um, and there was a lot of, you know, crying out no. for a red yeah. card. If anyone remembers that challenge, tell us what you think. All right. Um, well, it wasn't on the challenge that gave him a yellow card then. He gave him a yellow card, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's come... You know, he's come out of his box to tackle and try and tackle the ball. I don't think his arms are there, but you know, that's well, that's what he's there for. And I, I think um, he's aware of it because I did speak to him on Saturday afternoon in the, in the bar. 
But, uh, you know, it, it, that's the kind of player he is. And I think we need him at the back. And I think this t- the team is stronger with him oh, at the back. Yeah. And I think he's still going to be available for tomorrow. Do we know how many games we're missing for? I think it's going to be three. Because uh-huh. it's a straight red card. Um, and then the yellow card won't actually cut in until there's more coming in. But, uh, yeah, um, so that that's the... Because um, we've got two games at Wellenborough. We're playing Wellenborough on the 6th, 7th. Of September. One is in the trophy, isn't it? One, yeah, it's away in the trophy. So um, we're going to Wellenborough twice, which is something that nobody ever wants to do, really. Um, I'm not having a dig at the football team there. Nope. I'm having a dig at the whole town. Spent a lot of time at Wellenborough doing um, a lot of local finals and that. Nice people over there. Nice people. Really? Yeah, yeah, really nice people. Um, yeah. Always made me feel welcome. Though, though, if we if we're looking at tangents, I did say that I did see that Kerry Ellis is playing at the Castle in Wellingborough sometime in October, and uh, she held the role of um, uh, the witch in Wicked, so she'll be no doubt singing that wonderful song from Wicked. Can't wait for the movie to come out, uh, defying gravity. Uh, and if you haven't switched off already, there you go. Anyways. <laughs> I think because I've got to get this edited. Oh, yes. Before I've run away and dumped in a field, I think we should call this a day. So what we've got coming up next is um, the piece that we did. For, uh, it was me, Michael's behind the camera, on Saturday afternoon with Fletcher and with um, Danny. Danny. Gordon. So um, enjoy that. And uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, enjoy this. We've actually now been joined wonderfully by two players from Corbett Town. They are Danny Gordon and Fletcher Toll. First of all, Danny Gordon, uh, today's man of the match, that's the um, the Raj Kettering man of the match, which entitles you to a meal for two. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. it, does. Right, it, it does, it does. Yeah, I know. So, um, <laughs> first of all, how do you feel about being man of the match today? Did you think that your team collectively played well? Yeah, I, I don't think it was It was going to be an odd decision today. Um, I think there was a lot of uh, a lot of very good performances out there. We, we started off on fire um, and obviously Fletch got the first goal. Um, and then we just dug, we dug in together. We had a 10, 15 minute spell where sort of they got on us before half time. They got on to us, but we defended really well with like Rory Milne back there give, lead, leading us from the back. Um, and then the full backs tucked in, defended really well. Um, they played quite a, quite an interesting formation uh, in like a diamond way. And we had to adapt to that. And the two strikers led from the front. Uh, the midfielders sort of followed behind. And so, yeah, it was difficult. Just obviously, really, really sort of pleased to be man of the match. But it was a, a massive team performance today. You've seen me playing more in the middle of the park in the number five position as you were on the first game of the season. But you've you still kept number three shirt. <laughs> it's, it, are you happy in that kind of midfield role? Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll do a job wherever. Right, like, Setch knows that. I mean, I've, I mean, um, play left back, play anywhere down that left side. We're sort of playing, um, sort of where it frees me up a little bit more, and it gives me the chance to sort of go forward and show my sort of pace and power um, and things like. That. But yeah, again, whatever, whatever needs to be done for the team, I'll do. Um, so, and it's the same with a lot of the other boys. Like we'll all we'll all dig in and help together. If somebody gets injured, we'll fill in wherever we need to, and then um, we'll go from there. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy to be further forward. But again, like it's, I'm quite easily adaptable to wherever I go. Danny Gordon, man of the match. Raj, man of the match. In Kettering, enjoy your meal. Oh, I will do, Pass don't you? Pass that on to the man of the match. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> right. uh, Fletcher Toll, first of all, welcome to Corby Town. Cheers. And um, you've scored a couple of goals and they've been well goals. Some of them, some of them actually just bounced off yes. you. But that's like a yeah. goal scorer, isn't it? How do you feel, first of all, being at Corby Town, how do you think it's, you've fitted into actually the way that we play here? Yes, uh, really good for me. I think it's, it's a good environment for me to be around good to our lads around good fans good coaching staff so yeah it's a really good place to be and obviously there's quite a few people that uh uh you're one of the younger players in the team but there's quite a lot of experience around you and yeah. that must be helpful yeah having like danny and rory and milney people who have played a higher high levels and been around the game have helped me since i've been here i've only been here 10 games or so and they've helped me a lot with my movement and how to finish and stuff like that. So four goals already for this season. Why do you think you're going to uh, top it off? Have you got a ceiling? <laughs> well, promotion's the aim. Oh! Promo- promotion's the aim. And if I can be up there in the goal scoring charts, then bonus, but promotion. We like that. Not selfish, not thinking about yourself. You think about the club. Always got to think about the team. Excellent. Good work. Well, well done today. Another great goal. Um, did you hit it? Did you hit it cleanly? <laughs> Uh, hard questions to answer. No, no, that that wasn't a, one of the greatest strokes, but 
went in the count. back of the net. So. They all can't hit the back of the net. Because, exactly. yeah, I, I looked at it and thought, has he done the keeper there by bouncing off his shit? Yeah, I can't claim that I tried to do that, <laughs> but well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Four goals already. That's brilliant. Well done, Fletcher Toll. Well Cheers. done, everybody, today. Danny, Fletcher, thanks for joining us here at Down TV. Uh, my name's Chuck. That's Michael. Well done. And uh, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so you're always here, ready for our wonderful podcast about your favourite football team. See you later.